this going on? city ship. Little garden. Oh, this place is bigger than I thought it would be. Where we go for the entrance ceremony? Yes, sir. You're in the right place. Wait, I know you. Hayato Kisaragi? Uh, <laughs> so you're the one with the all time record? Uh, Is it really him? Uh, he uh, uh, to be Can I have your autograph? <laughs> She's not going to do it again, is she? Hey, Fritz! I told you to stop treating me like a kid! Sorry, but I just can't help it. You're perfectly kid-sized. <laughs> Those two have known each other since they were little. They're super close, as you can uh, tell. Uh, uh, yeah, it sure looks that way. You guys seem pretty close yourselves, especially considering you only met today. Huh? Yeah, it's almost like one of you might not be a guy. <laughs> That's so funny! What should we do, Hayato? Uh, I would like to formally welcome all new students here today. We are your MCs. I'm second year military art scholar and student council vice president Erica Candle. Welcome. My name is Liddy Steinberg. I would now like to introduce you to the esteemed captain of Little Miss Claire Harvey. That's the student council president? Yeah. Claire Harvey, also known as the Queen. We're so sorry! I swear we didn't mean to be so late. They were at the airport. Brand new here and already tardy? You two certainly have some nerve. Again, so sorry! We had gone to the airport to pick up Hayato Kisaragi, but we couldn't find him anywhere, so we stayed. Enough excuses! <laughs> Hayato Kisaragi has been here the whole time. <laughs> Noah Sheldon and Liu Shuemei, if you cannot follow simple rules, then there is no place for you here at Little Garden henceforth. You may collect your things and leave. You are expelled. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, pardon me. I think you're uh, being really unfair. Uh, Emil. I don't care if you are the student council president. You can't just kick them out for making an honest mistake. Hey, That's terrible. It. No, I'm still talking. I can't stand people who abuse their power of authority like that. Yeah, but... You two are... I'm sorry. It's just that... I don't think they should be expelled either, I guess. Mr. Kisaragi. In fact, let me say this to everyone sitting here. You are not just students, quite far from it. You are fledgling slayers. You will risk your lives to fight the savages. When on the battlefield, a single error can prove fatal and destroy an entire squadron. It's not simply a matter of frequency. Failure to follow orders will inevitably lead to death. This is critical. But there are times when orders can be wrong, and you know Quiet, it. Quiet, Emil Crossfode. That's enough out of you. Claire is queen of the military arts department, and her orders are final. Queen my butt! Hayato has a higher hunter capability score than her uh, or anyone! Please, no more! Emil Crossfode, if you continue with this insolence, you'll be expelled also! Bring it on! Just you try <laughs> up! <laughs> Very well. <laughs> We will comply with your request. Along with the other disappointments, you're out. You're also expelled. Will you please shut up and stop freaking out? You've got to calm down. Hayato Kisaragi. Uh, yes? Speak up. Do you have any objections to their expulsion? Uh, I, uh... I can't... Yes, I do. What? No way. Please let me explain. Those girls were late because they couldn't find me. Your expelling them made Emil speak up. Hayato... I realize that I'm talking out of turn. But please be lenient with them. Hayato Kisaragi, you will learn your place! Very well. Uh, President! I have a proposal for you. Hayato Kisaragi. I, Student Council President Claire Harvey, am hereby challenging you to a duel of honor. What? If you can defeat me, I will rescind their expulsion. We will convene tomorrow. I'll see you at the main Coliseum in the afternoon. Wait, hold on a second. That's not what I... You're uh... on! He'll be there! Hey, who asked you? Let's do it, Hayato! Huh? You can definitely beat her. I know it. Well, but I, uh... What were you thinking? You can't just accept a duel like that. I'm up against the- You'll be fine, Hayato. It's in the bag. But wait, what are you even basing that on? <laughs> Stop worrying. Now, come on. Oh, uh... I'll introduce you to a good friend of mine. Good friend? Oh, just the principal technologist on Little Garden. She's the chief researcher of the Hundred as well. So you're Hayato Kisaragi. My name is Charlotte Demandius. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, yeah. It's... it's great to meet you, too. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What's this? Sniff, sniff, sniff. I detect you're from the Empire of Yamato, and yet you don't smell anything like soy sauce. Yeah, well, we normally don't, but neat trick. <laughs> I know she comes off a little weird, clearly. However, I couldn't live without her assistance around here. Nice to meet you. My name's Mei Mei. Yeah, you too. And my girl Char? She's so smart, she's like a real child prodigy. Wow. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Um, I'm actually old enough to get married, I'll have you know. Emilie... <laughs> Charlotte! Please remember, my name is Emil. Let's get that straight, okay? Emil, got it. I got some intriguing news. Some guy who's never used a hundred before is going to duel with none other than President Claire Harvey. Boy, good news really travels fast, huh? Well, you know, Lisa just can't keep a secret. Lisa? Yeah, she's the autonomous computer that controls everything. Look at her. Isn't she a beauty? Lisa can communicate with people on her own, too. So this is Lisa? Exactly. Ready, Hayato? 
Here, it's your hundred. Before I give it to you, let me explain how it works. I'm sure you've heard the hundred have proven to be the only truly effective weapons against the savage life forms. But did you know the only reason certain humans have the power to use them is because they respond to variable stones? The official name for these people is Slayers. The hundred can change into a whole bunch of forms, based on who uses them, of course. That's where the Century Armaments, or Hundred, get their name. For example, Claire Harvey uses this, floating cannons that she can control at will. Moon category. She's strong, obviously. Their variability in forms and battle techniques are strong assets. However, they only pursue one ultimate goal. To protect humanity no matter the cost. Now Hayato, when you take hold of your own hundred, you will be entrusted with that responsibility. Are you ready? Yes. Good, right answer. an area for you to practice. Go change into your variable suit and see how it feels for you. I always wondered what these were like. It's a bit tighter than I thought it would be. Yeah, right? And depending on what Slayer's wearing it, the suit takes on different forms. Blech. Hey, would you uh, mind not staring at me? What? We're both guys here. There's no reason for you to get all embarrassed. Just stop saying words and get your hundred out already! Uh, sure. Hold your hundred tightly, and focus your will on it becoming a weapon. To release it, say hundred all- Let's give it a try. Hundred on! Go! So this is Flying Swallow, your hundred. Look at Shibuya, say flippin! My hundred. Flying Swallow. I knew your hundred was gonna be cool. Mine's pretty awesome too. Yes, it's so on! Emil, you mean you already have yours? You don't have to wait? Yeah! It's kind of a long story though. Hundred on! Go! special than some, you know? Your innocence type. At any rate, the duel is tomorrow. We don't have much time, okay? So we're gonna have a trial by fire! <laughs> fire! <laughs> Pretty impressive, Hayato! You can already put up an energy barrier! I have no idea how I did it. I wasn't even trying. Hold up, Emil! What was with that sneak attack you pulled just now? Who does that? Claire Harvey's not gonna go easy on you! You idiot!
Well, that makes one of us. Oh no, my sister! Me? I promised to visit her in the hospital right after the entrance ceremony, but stupid me forgot. Hospital? Wait a sec, why is she in the hospital? Is she okay? Well, no. She's not exactly healthy. I agreed to come to Little Garden on one condition. She'd get the medical attention she needs. Sorry, Emil. You'll have to head back without me. Okay. Bye. I'm sorry, Karen. I'm a terrible brother. <sighs> Come on. Don't be like that. Can't you just forgive and forget already? If. <clears throat> what am I going to do with you? Give you. <laughs> oh yeah, so how was the entrance ceremony? Right, that a lot has happened. Uh, come in! Whoa! You know I hate to interrupt personal time, Karen, but I'm afraid visiting hours are almost over for today. What? No fair! Uh, my apologies. I'm leaving now. Ew, you pervert! What? Stop staring at Mihara's torpedo boobs! Good what? Shut up! <laughs> I get to be so late. The lights are on. A meal? Hayato. Wait, what are you doing? Stop it! That's my stuff! You Myself. You have to look perfect for your duel tomorrow. It's fine, just let me handle it. I'm almost... Ah! Uh, see? Told you. <laughs> Give me your hand. Oh. Hi Hayato, you can't just grab someone's... Are you okay? Um, yeah. You didn't have to do that. It wasn't that big of a deal. Still, years ago, I found myself mixed up in a savage attack. Now when someone gets hurt, I can't just sit back. I appreciate that. Are you adequately prepared? I suppose, as much as I can be. Very well, then let us commence immediately. Hundred on, go. between the Queen, Claire Harvey, and the new student, Hayato Kizaragi, shall begin. Now, Hayato Kizaragi, show me how strong you are, if you dare. 
And now, the battle between the Queen, Claire Harvey, and the new student, Hayato Kizaragi, shall begin. He's doing this for us. I hope he's gonna be okay. Please be close. The time limit will be restricted to 15 minutes, no exceptions. The match ends when a combatant is knocked out or when their energy is drained and they're disarmed. Oh, lady, I would like to make a brief declaration before we commence the match. What is it? I have decided I will not be using my full body armament in this duel. Full body armament? What? A fighting tactic that only a few people at the school can use. It releases a weapon's energy all at once and allows the wielder access to its full capabilities. The battle would be over in mere seconds. And that simply wouldn't be fair to our audience, would it? Translation? She's going to hold back someone. Is that you, Emil? Don't worry, I've got your back. Just stay alert. Remember our winning plan, Hayato. Hayato Kizaragi! Receiving any help during a battle is a violation of the rules. I don't mind, Erica. Uh, he's a new student after all. I'll permit it as a handicap. Now, Hayato Kisaragi, show me how strong you are, if you dare. There's no turning back now. That's a no? It's more than a no, it's a hell no! No one has ever dared attempt something so brazen before, and now you come along, and you just... Grab it like it's a doorknob! Thank you for the help, Emil. What were you thinking grabbing the president's boob? It was just an accident. You can't be mad at me about that. Fine, I'm over it. The initial plan may have failed, but our attack strategy is still solid. Charge in on her one more time, Hayato. Roger that. <laughs> is that the best you've got? Damn it! Hayato, use the other move! Right on. Now what's he planning to do? Here comes the payoff. from you, Hayato Kisaragi, and I applaud your willingness to try it on me. That said, this is the grand finale! <laughs> Hayato! Mr. Kisaragi! I think we can safely predict the duel's outcome. Are you ready to give up? Uh, not even close. Be careful. That's the spirit, then I won't disappoint you. It's the Buster Cannon. She's going to use it against a new student? <laughs> Not good. Hayato, you can't fight it! Hayato! Come in! What's Please happening? Please answer, can you hear My me? My body... I'm burning up. Take a bow, Kisaragi. This is it for you. <laughs> no, this can't be! Suddenly, he's fighting like an expert. He's got Claire on the defensive. Huh? But now, you're at close range! What? A 
full body armament? And he's actually deploying an M barrier too. But how? Hayato Kisaragi has only had possession of his hundred for two days. He's fast! No, Claire! I am the queen, perfect and infallible. I can't lose to him. I refuse! Okay. What are you trying to pull? You said you wouldn't use your full body armament! Hold on a second, Emil. Before you get upset, know the declaration she made had nothing to do with the rules of this battle. But Char... I know what you're about to say. But please don't. Claire Harvey has won the duel. <laughs> no. I actually lost. Uh, say. But the reality is I have failed myself. Well then, how about we agree to log it as a draw in the final record? Wait, what's this? Where am I? Hayato. Hayato. Who is that? Hayato. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you come to? President? I see. I guess I lost the duel today, didn't I? Wait, then Emil and those two girls are still getting expelled? I rescinded that. So that's what happened. Past the half point, I don't remember anything. Hayato Kisaragi, who are you, honestly? Uh, sorry? In your first duel, you used a full-body armament and deployed an M barrier. You even managed to corner me, the queen. That's never been done before. What's your secret? Cough it up! I... I don't know. There is... Uh, what are you doing here, President? Just leave him alone. Hasn't he no, been punished enough? you got the enough? wrong idea. Hey, I only came to apologize. Now excuse me. Are you sure you're all right? Uh-huh. I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, no. I'm just happy to see you awake and alive. <laughs> Please don't be so hard on yourself about this. If it were a normal duel, you would have won hands down, no question. I don't care. That's not what's been bothering me. Then... well then maybe... uh... you're... you're mad because he put his hand on your boot? Uh well, that was nothing, and I'll thank you to drop the subject. Erica, Claire is hardly one to get flustered by a stupid boy putting his hand on her breast. I know, but lady, even I haven't had the magical experience of feeling her sublime endowments for myself. Enough! We're not talking about this anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it looks like you're okay now. Listen, you don't have to worry about me all the time. I'm totally fine, I promise. Other than the fact that I have Hey, that was fast. Thank you. When you use a lot of energy, your body wants to replace it. Yeah, I bet. Hey, Hayato. Do you want to go to Central? We have today off, you know. Central? What's that? It's the Little Garden's business district. Tons of great restaurants, I hear. Yeah, sure. 
That sounds good to me, okay? Sweet! All right, all right! Apparently this central place is better than I realized. No, no. I'm happy we get to go on a date. <coughs> wow, central's pretty cool. I know, you would never think we were on a ship. Hey, I have a question. Does it seem like everybody's staring at us? Oh, don't be silly. They're staring at you. All these people were at the duel yesterday. Really? Who cares? Check this out. Here, try this. Open up. Oh, uh, what for? Come on, just eat it. Uh, uh... Well? Okay, it's pretty tasty. I know! Hey, let me try some of yours now. Oh, oh. easy! Yum! Strawberries delicious! Hey, no. Sarabi and Crest would look awful cozy, don't you think so? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, they are roommates. Or ma Some real food. Like anywhere else will do. Okay, but before we do that, there's... There's one place I want to go first. Wow! Isn't it beautiful? For sure, but isn't it... This is unmistakably a hot spot for dates. <laughs> to be honest, I wanted to come here with you. I heard it had a great ocean view. What... what's your point? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Apparently, lots of people say that when the sun goes down, it gets even more romantic. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> your sister? Uh, yeah. Hello? Brother, why didn't you tell me about the duel before? Shame on you. Uh, sorry. I just didn't want you to worry about me. Everyone's been talking about you here at the hospital all day. So I wanted to take a look at the tarot cards and see if anything else came up. And I saw a threatening woman! I need to know. Are you with a girl right now, by chance? Uh, no, I'm not with any girl. But, uh, what do you mean, check? I didn't think you'd actually come meet me. Oh, they gave me permission to go outside today. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be here by yourself? Oh. Well, actually, what I told you was that I wasn't with a girl, but I never said I was by myself. It's a pleasure to meet you, Karen. My name is Emil Crossfoad, Hayato's roommate. And you're a boy. Interesting. Oh. Uh, yeah, of course I am. Then I'm going to get right to the point. Tell me, do you find yourself attracted to other men? Karen, please! My mistake. So you two really are just roommates then. Do you promise me that you're not trying to seduce my dear brother? How ridiculous. I don't feel that way about him. We're just good friends and roommates, that's all. I suppose I believe you. I guess I'll let it go for now. But if you mess with my brother, I'm gonna come after you! Watch it! Watch it! Oh, it's Sakura! She's my favorite! Who's Sakura? The famous pop idol Sakura Kirishima? Duh! I heard some of her songs in the hospital today. Yeah, she's really popular right now. I love her and her music so much. The world! In fact, there's an outdoor concert on the Zwei Islands today. Oh, the Zwei Islands are actually pretty close to where we are right now. That's so cool! I really wish I could see her. Then how about we go later? Yeah! I'll hold you to it. Oh, lunch! I completely forgot! What are we all in the mood for? Hey, Hayato. I have a place that I really want to try out. So this was your big idea? The cafeteria? Yes! I've never been in here before. What do you think I should get? Yum, look! They have Salisbury steak, the fried shrimp looks good, oh, and pot stickers! I could eat some curry rice and stir-fried burdock and- Would you slow down? You're going to get sick. But I really want to try everything on this menu! By the way, don't tell me Haru, alright? If you can't finish it all, I can always help you eat it. That's okay. I'd rather my brother helped me out. Good grief. <laughs> Try some of my pasta, please. Uh, uh, 
How is it? It doesn't change anything. I'm still watching you. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh. Hi, Atoki Saraki. President. President? So that blonde with the huge chest is who put you through all She'll that? She'll hear you, Karen. It's a little late for that, I'm afraid. And this foul-mouthed girl, is she a friend of yours? Sorry, this is my little- Her name's Karen Kisaragi. She's Hayato's younger sister, in fact. Relax, Claire. I'm pleased to meet you. Name's Chris Steinbelt, and I'm a middle school second year. I also happen to be President Claire Harvey's personal assistant. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you too, Chris. This is excellent timing. I'd like to talk to you about something. You would? What about? <laughs> the student council needs some help, and you're just the man for the job. Uh, hold on a second! Why does Hayato have to help the student council with anything? The duel yesterday should have already been settled with the tie. He has no remaining obligation to you at Calm all. Calm yourself. This is by no means mandatory. We are only here to recruit him. <laughs> Hayato Kisaragi, I invite you to join what we call Selections, a special unit under the student council. Okay, I'm listening. You would follow orders issued from Warslarn HQ, who managed the little- To execute missions just like a fully realized Slayer. The missions would include tasks like the guarding of various facilities, bodyguard duties, and, of course, actual combat with savages. Real combat? The issue is, due to the recent Savage Nest Elimination mission, we don't have enough active Slayers. We need immediate reinforcements. I will reiterate what Erica just said. This is a matter of real urgency. However, a yes from you is not compulsory. Still, noblesse oblige. Perhaps you may have heard of it. It means those with power should wield it to help those who have none. But I don't know if I'm ready. Then I would be happy to join forces with Hayato. Sadly, you don't meet our criteria. One has to be able to fight head-on with a savage and actually win. However, you would just drag everyone down. <laughs> so you want me to face off with the president in a duel too, is that it? Emil Crossfold, that was disrespectful. You're playing a risky game. It doesn't have to be the president. How about you, Liddy Steinberg? Wanna go? That should be enough to prove my abilities to you. I doubt that. When do you wanna suit up? I'm ready to fight right now if you are. Hundred on, go! He's got a Dragoon type also. Now, Vice President, are you in or out? You'll learn your place. Hundred on, go! Huh? Liddy, you're going too far. You stay out of this, Erica. I need to teach that little brat a lesson, or it's only gonna set a bad precedent. <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting! Stop it, Emil! Would you just hold your fire for now? Remember, my sister's here. Oh, I'm aware. Well then, what if I try this? Did he just alter the whole form of his armament? Brace yourself! Here I come! Ah! This can't go on. I'll have to use force to stop them. No, I say let them fight. But, President! Ah! <laughs> You wanted to teach me a lesson! Don't get cocky, kid! <laughs> oh, what? It's an alert. Claire, we have an immediate order to sortie. Indeed. Liddy, stand down. We have to go. Claire, yeah? You're running away? Hardly. Something far more important than a sparring match with you just came up, that's all. President, wait! What's going on? We have an emergency. We received word that the Savage have just appeared on the Zwei Islands. That sounds familiar. The same place where Sakura is supposed to perform. Hayato Kisaragi. I'll expect to get your response on joining selections when I return. Just a moment, Claire Harvey. What are you doing here? You should take these two with you. What was that? Hayato, your first battle is at hand. You in? This is not a drill. This is real. A real battle. With a savage. Yeah, I'm in. Status report right now. 
We're tracking three rogue savages. Heavy damage to the Zwei Island city block. Citizen evacuation is nearly complete. <gasps> Hi, Ato Emil! Hey, you guys! Mei Mei, what are you doing here? What does it look like? Working, of course. By the way, Chris, you should take your post, too. Roger that, Mei Mei. Chris is the main analyst here. We really couldn't do any of this without him. He's the best. He's no ordinary middle or high school boy. His mind and skills far surpass even those of Warslarn HQ's intelligence division. He truly belongs here. The honor is all mine. We just confirmed a visual on the third savage, ma'am. Moving to the main screen. It's huge! Yes, it is. It's a giant. It's a Trenta class type. Estimated ability values are unknown. Great. This will be a nightmare. Hey, Claire. Time to sortie. Hmm. Charlotte Diamandius. I have changed my mind. I won't be deploying Emil Crossfoot and Hayatoki Suragi today. They may have your recommendation, but they have zero experience in the field. It's tough enough dealing with a normal savage, but a Trenta class is too much for them to handle yet. So what do you plan to do then? Is the raid team just going to be you three? In only a few hours, a Warslorn HQ support team will arrive, so we just need to hold out until then. Huh? Juder Harvey may be CEO and your older brother, but I never thought you'd be asking for his help. Please, he's got nothing to do with this. But as captain of the Little Garden, I have to take the most logical course of action here. Liddy, Erica, we're heading out. President, please let us come with you. Didn't you hear what I just said? The answer is no! Yes, I did. But weren't you the one who mentioned... Noblesse Oblige, was it? Still, Noblesse Oblige. Perhaps you may have heard of it. Those with power should wield it to help those who have none. A long time ago, a savage attacked me, and some of my memories were destroyed. If we wait for the support team to get there, the city will be destroyed too. And so will the lives and memories of its residents. I'm not sure what I'll be able to do out there yet. That said, I know I can help you. Just so you know, I'm not the one who recommended their deployment. It was Lisa. <sighs> Lisa did? She said the best way to reduce the number of casualties and raise this operation's chances of real success was for Hayato Kisaragi and Emil Crossfo to sortie along with you three because they will be essential. Exactly. Listen to her, President. She wouldn't say it if she didn't know it. Fine, so be it. If that is what Lisa has determined, then I accept. First, Claire, Liddy, and I will rendezvous at Point Alpha to engage the standard savage. Once we take that one out, we'll have time to confront the Trenta class at Point Gamma. Hayato Kisaragi and Emil Crossfoot. That'll be your cue to move out. You will engage a standard savage at Point Beta. Why won't we all sortie together, though? You two rookies haven't logged any combat time. We will go out first and show you how to fight them so you don't get yourselves killed. Besides, once you've killed the savage at Point Beta, your job is over and you can go. So you won't need our backup with the Trenta class, then? Yeah, that thing looks pretty vicious. Are you sure about that? Give us some credit. We've eliminated plenty of savages without your help up until this point. We've also encountered several unknowns on a number of occasions and successfully obliterated them each and every time. Leave the Trenta class to us. disable the savage's vision. Liddy, Erica, we're going in! Right! Hundred on! What's that hundred? It's an arsen type. It creates energy chains that can be extended or retracted at will. Its proper name is Everlasting. All right, Claire, hit it now! See, Claire's aiming directly for the savage's head. That's where the core is. Now take this! The 
Savage's skin is rumored to be as thick and as strong as steel, but an attack from a hundred can slice through it like warm butter. Oh, there's the core. Time to finish off this guy. This ought to teach those newbies to show us our respect. Now watch and learn! jumped off, so obviously we should follow suit, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hurry up and deploy your hundred, dummy! What is wrong with you? Hundred on, go! Hayato, let's try the same thing they did! I know it'll work! I'll fire some shots to give you a smoke screen! Then use that brief window to attack the core! I got it. Charlotte was right. Save them, Emil. There's no need for that. Both of you, just stay where you are. I already told you the student council would handle this situation. But we- That's enough out of you! <laughs> I will annihilate you as well as the nest! I will annihilate you as well as the nest! Oh, again? Uh, my energy's too low? Is that duel with Hayato still messing with my mind? just sit there and watch one of my own get done in. You should rethink where you put your hand. Uh, again? I'm sorry! Why are you always taking my first experiences away from me? But I'm... I'm trying to help. This was my first Princess Carrie. That's your issue?! Claire! It's got you in its sight! Uh, not good. Sorry, I can't put you down just yet. Wait a second! What is it, Erica? Talk to me. There's an airport right in the line of the Savage's fire. If you dodge, everyone there trying to evacuate will get killed. President, now what? Raise the barrier and take the blast. There's still enough time if you hurry. Well, I guess I have no other choice. Force the blast back. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh... We 
have succeeded, Hayato Kisaragi. It was your brilliant plan. Don't bother thanking me. It's not like I did this for you. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you feeling lightheaded? I am. It's taking all my strength just to keep my armaments on. Well, well, don't you guys make a pretty picture. Uh, hey, Emil, what's up? I believe you and I have some things to discuss later, Hayato! that you're Amelia Hermit. Hayato. Wow, you saved my life again. We'll talk later. Right now, I need you to run. Yeah, but... Hurry! Take the vice president, too! <gasps> Amelia, what are you... I'll tell you later. We need to finish it off now. Channel all your energy into Flying Swallow and kill its core. Is that all? Think I can do it?
I can't believe it. We saved all those people. And this place. We did a good thing, Hayato. Yeah. Because of moments like this one, I'm now confident we can go into combat and emerge victorious. For real? You actually took out the savage by yourself? No, it wasn't just me. The president, Emil, and everyone else helped. I have to admit, I'm kind of sad that Sakura's concert had to get cancelled because of this. But the important thing is, nobody got hurt. But I was still worried sick, so now you have to make it up to me. You're so silly. <laughs> they told me I can keep pretending to be a guy. Since it would get everyone up in arms if they knew the truth about me. And the president reluctantly agreed to that. But... I can't stay here in this room with you anymore. I see. Emil, it's time now. I need to know everything. Ah. Well, first, I should probably tell you about the variants. What are those? So basically infected with the savage virus? That's right. And since you sucked out my blood, you're now infected as well. The virus is extremely potent. Most people don't survive once it's contracted. However, if you're lucky enough to live through it, your hundred score will skyrocket after that, and of course, you become extremely compatible. Char and her colleagues came up with a name for us. Slayers like us are called variants. In the entire world, there aren't even ten of us. So I knew I was going to run into you once again eventually. See, I had Charlotte constantly checking the hundreds tests throughout the world to track you down. So that's why. You knew I'd be attending school here and came to the little garden yourself. Exactly. The funny part is, I didn't think I'd be coming to the Warslarn school that Char was assigned to, though. But why'd you feel the need to pretend to be a guy? Well, I... I wanted to try and make sure that we would be in the same room. Uh... And that's not exactly the only reason. But it wouldn't be good if people found out. Well, you can tell me more about that later. So, the reason I lose my memories mid-combat is because I'm a variant? Mm. Whenever your life is in danger, the virus activates and you go on a violent rampage. Then it's the same for you. Mm -hmm. But I've learned how to control it with extensive training. I wonder if I can learn how. Sure you can. You just need to practice as hard as I did. I've got your back. Great. Thanks a lot. Hey, uh, Hayato? About that one day back in Gutenberg, and today, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life, because I, I never got a chance before. Oh uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna make uh, some tea. That's okay. I'll do it. Uh, uh. uh hey Hayato. If you don't mind, I, I could use a little bit more warning. No, that's not it. I just collapsed. Wait a second. Could this be a side effect of the virus? <clears throat> what was that for? In order to suppress a newly activated virus, you need to administer an inactive one right away. So in other words, that's what I just did for you, get it? What's the matter? Maybe... You don't like kissing me, is that it? Uh, no! That's not the issue! Emil Crossfoad, I know I told you to move rooms immediately! <gasps> oh! President, hello! Don't you think? 
each other, they're on a completely different level. Yeah, I'll say. Good work today. Your control over your variant has grown. You learn fast. Well, I do have a good teacher. What a rush. I never expected you to slice through my attack. Huh. I thought we were stronger. We've both been training non-stop for almost a month. Kinda makes me wonder if I'm even cut out for selections. Try not to think that way. You pushed Haito to his limit. Not everyone could fight with that much strength. You made him use his armament. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true! We had you on the rope! And if oh. we stick with our training, we'll only get stronger. Right! I'm not a kid! Stop patting my head! Hayato Kizaragi. Uh. Miss Claire requests your presence. You've been enlisted for a selections mission. You want me to be Sakura Kirishima's bodyguard? I'm told that she asked for you specifically. She wants a bolstered security detail for her concert in the Sway Islands next weekend. Natural, considering the recent calamities. Sure, but why me? She declined to provide me with that information. Listen, this job presents many dangers. Savages may still lurk around the island, so we must protect our VIPs, whatever the cost. We take great pains to keep our records up to date. During our recon last month, we detected energy from no less than- Remember fighting three? Correct. We were told that the remaining four had been shot down before making impact with our world. However, we've only confirmed the location of a single set of their remains. Then that means they could still be out there waiting to strike. More of them. More destruction. I believe I've given you more than ample warning. Hayatoki Siragi, what is your decision? I accept. Please allow me to help. That's what I like to hear. You'll be on duty the entire weekend, so we can reward you with a moderate stipend. Is there anything else you would like for reimbursement? Well, now that you mention it, there is something. One small thing. So I got you a ticket to the show. What? Are you serious? Sure am. I ran it by the president, and she promised she would arrange it all herself. Maybe drill hair girl. Cute blonde girl isn't as horrible as I thought. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to tell you something that's been worrying me. Oh yeah? What's the problem? I was reading your fortune with my cards. They're warning you to avoid water and women. Avoid water and women? That's right. You need to stay away from many bodies of water. And women, avoid their bodies too! Of course. Got it. Huh. What is it? Do you need anything else? If it's not too much trouble, please get me Sakura's autograph! Hayato. Hey, Hayato. Good morning. We've arrived at the Zue Islands. Uh, Mia, why are you here in my bed? <laughs> why not? Come on, how often do we go ashore? I thought we could go on a date together. What do you say? Can you pencil me in? Uh, I can't. They moved my shift. Last minute thing. My mission starts this morning. Really? Afraid so. All right, fine. Works. I'm disappointed, but I'll get over it. Good luck. I believe in you. Hayato Kisaragi, are you prepared for your assignment? Yes, ma'am. I have my tracer and end tranquilizers equipped. Ready for anything. This is your first bodyguard position. Try to stay alert. I got it. I made it. I'm so happy to be back. Miss Kirishima, we welcome you to Little Garden. Lady Steinberg, Executive Officer. Sakura Kirishima, it's such a pleasure. And you must be Mr. Hayato Kisaragi. 
How wonderful to meet you in person. Thanks. Happy to be of service. Is it always like this for her? Kind of. This crowd is smaller than usual. Seriously? Why would a huge star like her want me as a bodyguard? It's nothing. I'm totally normal. Let's break the ice a bit. Maybe you have a favorite song from one of my albums. No, well, I mean, I'm not sure. I don't really listen to popular music. Oh, is that right? Actually, my little sister is a really big fan. I mean, big fan of your work. <laughs> Pull yourself together, newbie. You don't have to worry. I'm used to it. You know, you shouldn't stress about being so polite. And while you're at it, you can just call me Sakura. It's way easier. Huh? Right this way. What, is something wrong? You tell me. Isn't there something a bodyguard should do before their client enters a room? M right, I'll check it out. Focus. Where did I... Oh, yeah. Got it. You're acting strange. Are you actually Hayato Kisaragi? What? I think so. At least I'm the only Hayato Kisaragi that I know of. Um, anyway. I've never been a bodyguard. I'm still getting adjusted. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll finish securing the room. Stay right there. some time to ourselves. So hey, Hayato. Do you want to marry me? So hey, Hayato. Do you want to marry me? What? This video. It's you, right? Uh, how'd you... Turned up on the cybernet. It's gone now, but I made a copy. After I saw that, I couldn't stop thinking about you. The amazing hero who protected the Zwei Islands. I must admit, you're not what I expected. Kind of on the awkward side. Uh. Lucky for you, I'm into that. What? So, I'm asking you out with a long-term goal of marriage. It's so sudden. What's wrong? Shouldn't you be happy that a real-life celebrity is flirting with you? Could it be that you have your sights set on someone else? Uh. Well? Wait, hold on just a sec. Can you slow down and tell me what you mean? <laughs> the diva of the world marries a genius slayer, a total power couple! Can you imagine? Once the media catches wind, we'll be a hit! Huh? With a press conference, we'll hold it at a scenic vista on the Zwei Islands where we met and our love first blossomed! And then, I'll show off the ring you saved your heart in cash to buy for me! Hold on, what's happening? After the conference, we'd rush straight to the uh -huh. ceremony! It has to be a grand occasion, so we'll each have five costume changes minimum. We'd look stunning in matching white kimonos. We'll honeymoon Hello. across the globe, and Earth after to we'll Sakura. by the many cultures of the world, retreat to our quaint house by the sea. We'll have three children and two puppies, and in our free time, we all splash about without a care in the world. And then I see a beautiful rainbow as a sea breeze rolls in. Oh no. Her train of thought has gone off the rails. She's spiraling out of control. All right, let's do it. Uh? I'm all in. Uh? We can build this life together. I want it all. Our kids, our puppies, our house, and that beautiful rainbow? Shall we seal our fate with the power of true love's kiss? Wait, hold on! I don't have time to play games with you. I'm running late. I need to start getting ready. She has such a... I remember how Karen always used to sing in the bath when we were kids. Hayato? Uh, what's up? Would you mind bringing me my PDA? A catchy melody popped into my head and I want to make a recording. Yeah, coming. She sure made herself at home. Karen had the same messy habit. Hayato, did you find it? Hey, what's going on? Uh, what? Nothing. 
I was just trying to tidy up a bit before you got out, and I noticed you had this bear design on- I don't know what you're up to, but give me my PDA right now! Are you okay? Uh... Mm. That really hurt. Oh! Here, I found it. Thanks, about time. By the way, I only wear those bear panties as a joke. You probably wouldn't get it, so don't bother asking! Good going. Water and women. That's what Karen was trying to warn me about. Oh, hi, Ito. How do I look? Uh... What do you think? I... I think that your outfit is cute. Hmm. That answer's worth 40 points. Out of how many? In the bathroom? I said I was sorry. 15 points, answer lacks effort. What do I have to say to score the most points with you? <laughs> Why don't you grow up and figure it out for yourself? Alright, let's go. It's time to leave. Oh. Right! What's wrong? Oh, well, it's impressive how you make this look so effortless. <laughs> In that case, I'm even more impressive than you give me credit for. Huh? Souffle, we're all finished for the day, right? Can you check? We are. Perfect. Why don't we make a tiny detour then? <laughs> What is this place? The venue for Sakura's concert. We've sold over 100,000 tickets, so we'll need all the room we can get. You're kidding! Thanks for waiting. Uh, Have you had a chance to look around? Me? No way! I'm not looking at anything! That's not really what I meant. Are you feeling alright? You're so weird sometimes. Look at it. We've been working you. 100 on! during the performance. We were called in as consultants. Her type is incredibly rare. We classify her as a field control slayer. I've never heard of that before. She manifests a field which is completely under her control. As long as she's in that space, she can conjure illusions and soar through the air however she wants. It's not without drawbacks. She doesn't have any weapons. But still, sometimes you may encounter obstacles that can't be overcome with brute force alone. That's right. Sakura finds strength through her song. Wait a minute, so that- Some time ago. In a manner of speaking, Charlotte's generosity saved Sakura's life. What's that mean? I was there to help her out when she was going through a rough patch. No big deal, it's what I do. for today. They said I could report back tomorrow afternoon. I thought you were scheduled to return to your post in the morning. Change of plans. She wants the hotel room to herself to put the finishing touches on a song. I know her staff means well, but they make it difficult for Sakura to get out whenever she wants to. Sakura? Never speak about a client so informally. How obscene. Well, actually Miss Kirishima told me to call her that. Uh, your top priority is following the client's orders, I suppose. Fine then, tomorrow morning to discuss... Of course, I understand. How exciting. 
Exciting for you, I mean. Huh? Oh man, is everyone still on the island? So, if I'm alone, I get first dibs on the bat! Huh? Locked. Nice. Got it. Emil, it's you! I... Sorry! I'll go! Hold on! No. You can stay, if you want. I entered my security code to lock the door. I didn't expect anyone to barge in like that. I guess because we're staying in the same room together, our key codes are still synced. Really? You haven't been given a personal password yet? If I changed it now, I wouldn't be able to get in and out of your room whenever I want. About that. So tell me, how was your very first mission today? Oh, it was all right. I was pretty nervous about the whole thing, but Sakura was very <gasps> understanding. Sakura? When did you two get so close? What gives? Why won't you call me by my name too? What are you... Uh, I... It's my real name. <sighs> Amelia. Say it again. Okay, Amelia. Yeah. Uh. Hayato, look up. Go on. Look at my scar. It's starting to fade some. Before I got here, I was afraid it would never go away. But maybe getting to see you and be with you again, maybe it's helping me heal. Okay, that's enough. You can stop staring at me now. Uh, and wipe that perverted look off your face. Uh, Amelia, want to go with me to the Zue Islands tomorrow? Uh, you sure? But what about your mission? Actually, I get some free time. My shift doesn't start until the afternoon, so after I meet the president in the morning, I'm all yours. Vitali's intel was correct. Security's pretty tight around the perimeter. Oh, come on. We all know little Garden's precious slayers won't put up much of a fight. Let's go! Not so fast. This ought to sate your appetite for now. <laughs> Fine. When are we gonna do this thing? Once the concert is over. Yeah. Those island dwellers are oozing with excitement. Who are we to spoil the fun? We're here to give the humans what they want. They should be grateful. Can you see me, Mom? We finally get to sing here. <sighs> Sakura, always remember, music has the power to make people happy. Power to make people happy. Huh. <sighs> I wonder what Hayato's up to right now. Hayato Kisaragi, reporting for duty. There was something you wanted to tell me, ma'am? Sorry. Is this a bad time? What's wrong with you? I can wear a bikini in the comfort of my own home. You must be terribly insecure. I assure you, our meeting is strictly business. This is my personal summer resort where I can kick back and relax. A swimsuit is perfectly appropriate attire. I, um, that's not what I meant, though. Do powerful women frighten you? Maybe I should teach you a lesson in professional conduct. Take a good look, Hayato, uh, before you President, stand please! Please, please your top, don't! Uh, 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 let's get you covered up! Hayato, keep her 
Rocky. How dare you? Shut your mouth. I don't want excuses out of you, Rookie. I want revenge! Uh, Lady! Did he run off too? Lady, what on earth are you doing? Now stop that vulgar display. He's right there! Right where? Uh, 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 excuse me, would anyone care for refreshments? Now we might as well get to the matter at hand. Yesterday, we received a troubling report from headquarters. Updated intel about the savage attack last month. During the confusion, someone was able to steal a variable stone hidden at the concert venue. Variable stone? What's that? An item Miss Kirishima had planned to utilize during her upcoming live performance. They didn't report the incident until now. I keep telling them. HQ needs to share all its pertinent intel with Little Garden, but they never listen to me. A variable stone is an extremely rare kind of ore. Valuable, too. And now, with rumors spreading about the robbery, more thieves will be sniffing around. There's a lot we still have to learn regarding the prior incident. Let me be clear. You need to be ready for anything. You're Sakura's bodyguard, and that makes you our first line of defense. I understand. I'll protect her. Whatever it takes to keep her safe. That's good to hear. All right. With that taken care of, we can start the main event. Huh? Uh? Listen up, newbie. You made a fool of me during our fight, and I want payback. I challenge you to a swimming match. Huh? I know what you're thinking out. What? What is that thing? I've been waiting for this moment. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> I thought that would work. So not fair. Hey, Hayato! Are you ready? Emil? That's not my name. We're off the boat, so can I please just be Amelia today? But wouldn't it be bad news if we ran into any of our classmates while we're out here? Don't worry so much! We're pretty far away from where Little Garden is docked, so we can loosen up and enjoy ourselves for a change. Hey, do you like my new dress? I don't get to wear things like this very often. Well, I, um... Yeah, I think it looks cute. Oh, I think so too! But I'm glad you like it. Now we should go and get you something nice to wear. Come on, move it! We don't have all day, you know! Uh, hey. Uh. Huh? Wow, awesome! Looks great on you. You're so handsome. Oh, thank you. Has anything caught your eye? <laughs> you could say that. I was thinking of picking up one of these pendants. Something special to remember our date by. They're all so lovely, though. I haven't been able to decide. Well, let's get one. On me. Wait, really? Yeah. Hayato! You're the best! Do you like it? Uh-huh. Guess this means we're bound together for all eternity. Uh. They say when a boy gives a girl he likes a pendant as a present, it means that their hearts will be forever linked. Oh, really? I didn't know. I promise to treasure it always. So, um, should we get going? <gasps> oh no! We gotta hide! Uh, you got your driver's license already? When did you find the time to take that long exam? During your nap time. Sorry! I told you don't pat my head! <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it! You're the perfect height! Stop treating me like a kid! That was too close. I can't believe they walked into this exact store. Well, store in the first place. For real? <laughs> I didn't think he'd come to the store while we were here, though. Why not? Sorry, I don't really know any good date spots, but I still wanted to go out with you. I just hope to be a regular girl on a date. Well, let's look for an opening and run for it. I think we're okay in here until then. You're right. And we can stay as long as you want to be safe. Uh. <sighs> that was way too close. It sure was. 
Why don't I go grab some drinks to help us cool off? You stay here. I'll be right back. Wait, you don't have to go. I don't mind getting them. Quit worrying. <laughs> Emergency call. Hey, it's Hayato. Is everything all right? Something urgent has come up. Is a savage on the loose? Nothing like that, fortunately. Your client, Miss Kirishima, has disappeared from her hotel. She appears to have left the room of her own accord, so we've ruled out kidnapping at the moment. But she disabled the GPS on her PDA, and we don't have the faintest idea where to find her. Then what should we do? That's what I've been trying to figure out. The issue is, I may need your assistance to track her down. Honestly, I'd like for you to join the search now, but who am I to interrupt your- I'm upset. You're out of line. How dare you question my tone? Why would I be upset that you're out on the town gallivanting with Emil Crossvote while I'm stuck in my office trying to hunt down the client you're supposed to be guarding? It seems like a perfectly fair arrangement to me. Well, I'm, I'm really sorry. You refused my challenge in the morning, but you have all the time in the world to waste with your classmates. You may as well go shopping with me at this rate. Uh, okay. Whatever you want. You really mean it? Uh... uh... <clears throat> if you find any new details, contact me immediately. Over and out. Uh, uh, oh, Sakura. Where could you be? Right here. Uh, uh... Sakura? Are you alright? Everyone's been looking for you. What are you doing here? I've come to see you, of course. I like your jacket. It's very flattering. Oh, thanks a lot. Hey, wait a minute. How'd you know where to find me? It was easy. In case we ever get separated, I can track the location of my bodyguard with my GPS. It's pretty standard practice. Here, hold this for me. Uh, uh... We have to get going. We're on a tight schedule. Get going? What are you up to? I won't go place. You're gonna love it. Wait, I'm not so sure about this. Let's rock. You got something better to do? Uh, if she runs into Amelia on our date, this whole day is going to get bad quick. All right, I'll tag along. On one condition, you have to get in contact with Souffle. I bet she's worried sick. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go. You're the hero, so you lead the way. Get us a taxi while you're at it. Yeah, I'm on it. Sorry, Amelia. I'll explain this as soon as I can. Sorry for the wait, Hayato. Huh? Where'd he go? Uh, oh, my phone. Huh? But my hands are full. Huh? I wasn't prepared for this. I texted uh, Amelia to fill her in, but yeah. she's still gonna be so Look, mad at me. I know I wasn't supposed to leave without permission, but I'm fine. Yeah, sure. The new track for the album is basically done. I don't see what you're so worried about. Hayato, be I'm a dear and fill her in on the rest for me. Uh -huh. Hey, Souffle, it's Hayato. Sorry for all the trouble. On the contrary, we owe you an apology. You're wrapped up in an- It's all good. It's my job to deal with her, isn't it? You're supposed to be on my side, you big traitor. Of course. Got it. I'll get in touch with you as soon as I have an answer. Great. Talk to you then. Bye. She says that you have to be back in time for rehearsal. Well, yeah, that was the plan all along. Now that she's taken care of, no one will bother us the rest of the day. So, you think you might want to let me in on where we're headed yet? Like I said, I won't tell you. Okay. <laughs> Has anyone been able to locate Miss Kirishima yet? Uh, yes. Hayato confirmed that he has made contact with Sakura. According to her GPS tracker, she and Loverboy are going to the island's Grand Canyon. That slacker. He gets on my last nerve. Take a look, Hayato. Amazing, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Make sure you could have the chance to see it with your own eyes. Why me? You saved it. 
You fought to protect this place and this view. I'm so grateful for everything you've done. It means the world to me. What's this about? Forgive me? After we met for the first time yesterday, I kept thinking of that video. I have so many memories of my mother in this place, and you fought to defend it. I'm just so thankful. I'm sorry. I know it can be kind of overwhelming, too. Little bit. Hayato, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You fought to save something special to me, and... I owe you so much. It's fine, really. No big deal. I acted without thinking. Besides, any other Slayer would have done it. But you were the one who did. That's why you're my hero. Would you just let me thank you? Sure. children. My little sister used to hum it all the time. Oh, stop. My mother composed that tune for me when I was still a little kid. Uh -huh. Even to this day, I don't let many people hear it. It means a lot, so of course I wanted to share it with you. Uh. Hey, Hayato. I have a question. What is your sister's name? Uh. It's, um, Karen. It was uh, you! Where were you? When the savages attacked a second time, were you and your sister in Gutenberg? What? At the emergency shelter downtown! Oh, yeah. We were. You mean... Back then, I'd already lost my mother and was on my own. I met a pair of siblings there. The sister's name was Karen. But I never learned the brother's name. It was you. You were that boy. I sang the song my mother wrote for me to help put all of us at ease. After the dust had settled, as I left, the brother told me. Thank you, but when you sing, I feel better. You're that boy. The one from my memories. The one who changed the course of my life. It's been you all along. I did all that. Yeah. After you complimented my voice in the shelter, I rekindled my love of singing. I felt so confident. Because of you, I decided to become a performer. I never thought we'd get the chance to meet again. Amazing. I'm glad I kept singing. Still, that was the only time we met, right? From what I remember, you left that next day. I did. I'd never met my father before, but he came to pick me up. He took me away to live in his homeland. But then, I caught a very mysterious illness. Just like Karen. I met Souffle when she was a genetic engineer. She watched over me and helped me heal. Or tried. But the... The recovery process didn't go as planned. Instead of healing, I lost my voice entirely. So I wasn't able to sing anymore. My father's impatience led him to go over Souffle's head and sell me to a war slum. The patients there were injected with a vaccine manufactured from savage fluids. The mastermind behind the project was the lab director, Vitaly Tinyanov. Several children didn't make it out. They died because of the vaccine's aggressive antigen. I survived the ordeal, and I had my singing voice restored. For me, the vaccine was a complete success. However, they continued to administer it to the children who were still alive. What do you mean? Vitaly doesn't want to cure diseases. She wants to rewrite humans' genetic codes. She wants to artificially turn normal humans into slayers. <sighs> Even after we can manifest our own hundred, she continued the injections, hoping that our powers might compound. They didn't care about the side effects either. They just wanted results. So I 
sang. I sang because nothing else would calm them down. I sang, and I prayed for relief that never came. Day in, day out. But in the end, not a single one made a full recovery. Sakura! of the world now but i i'll always so that means you're a variant too huh hayato how do you know about variants what you said i'm a variant too what do you mean by that well i uh um i'm a variant just like you are you serious yeah it's new to me it all kind of happened by accident, really. Honestly, I didn't even have a clue what a variant was till a while ago. Oh, I see. So both of us were that... Amazing! What? This is absolutely amazing! What is? I can't believe this at all! You're the person who changed my life for the better as a child, and the one who saved these memories with my mom for me! It must be fate! Uh -huh. Two souls meeting out of the blue just like that! And as if that oh, wasn't enough, on. it turns out you're a variant just like me! This might be a miracle! Slow down! My mind is overflowing with new ideas for songs! I need to head back right away! Thanks again for everything! Come on, what are you standing around for? We have to get going like now! Don't go far! Wait for me! Hayato, come on! We have to go! Yeah, on my way! I didn't know they had a bus line around here. It would have been pretty tough to find a taxi all the way out there, even for you. Kind of surprised there weren't more tourists there. Well, I'm glad. It's a special place for my mother and me. And now it's a special place between us. That's true. Kisaragi's current location? Yes, ma'am, we have. I'll begin requesting immediate backup from any slayers in the area. They were ambushed inside the mountain pass. He's gonna have to fend that beast off on his own. You should be able to survive this ordeal. No, I'm certain of it. If anyone can. I didn't realize my power and mobility would take such a dive without my variable suit. Like I'm falling in love with you all over again! 
Thanks, Emil. What's the matter? You're lucky I'm here to save your butt after the way you ditched me earlier. Uh. again. That should give us the opening we need to bring this behemoth down. Fritz and Raytia, you guys can run interference. Roger that. You take point. Sound good, Hayato? Yeah, but wait. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. I know you're powerful enough to take down this monster in no time flat. You sure? I'm on it. Huh? How cute. You seem awfully close with your client. No way, we're just friends. You better be. Okay, lovebirds. I think we can figure this out another time. <laughs> Go! Yeah! <laughs> Emil! He 
you're not going anywhere! Uh. Huh. You blocked my Orthrus Leferio. Impressive. Don't tell me. Are they... Updated intel about the Savage attack last month. During the confusion, someone was able to steal a variable stone. It was hidden at the concert. Uh. Let me help you! Stay back! As expected from Little Garden's pet. More bark than bite! <laughs> that pathetic sword of yours doesn't stand a chance! <laughs> you deserve some credit for keeping up without your suit. But now it's the end of the line. He's a variant? I'll cross you! similar to the ability that our sister is able to wield. What gives? Why are you messing with us? Our mission has been a success. Mission? <laughs> what? Those are savage cores! Crowfawn, more pests will be arriving here shortly. Got it. Guess that's our cue to go, huh? <laughs> Aren't you a pretty specimen? Vitaly's going to be so impressed. You slayers get to live to see another day. Follow? No, let's stand down. We can't take them on. At least not without backup. Not exactly our strongest showing. There's our rescue squad. It sounds like you encountered a rogue poaching group, Hunters. What are they? They're slayers in the conventional sense, but they work as mercenaries for criminal organizations. We've uncovered a savage corpse in the Wasteland. The state in which we found it was... disturbing. The core had been taken. Forcibly. So you think they did it? I'm led to believe that's the case. But wait, why would they steal the cores? Simple. A savage core and a variable stone have remarkably similar molecular structures. Hold it! These students don't have proper security clearance. What's the point of keeping it a secret after everything that's happened? Besides, they're gonna find out sooner or later. Maybe if I tell them now, they could become a valuable resource. <sighs> okay. So then, is it possible for a savage core to be reconfigured to function like a regular hundred would? Correct. A core basically has the same intrinsic value that a video. Any country having enough of either could entirely tip the scales of global power to their side. Naturally, everything you've heard tonight is classified. In any case, you're safe and that's what matters to me. Uh, hey, why did you guys come to help me out in the first place? Well, I received the emergency call and decided I might as well try and rendezvous with them. They happened to be close to the action and backed me up. Yes, about that. Fritz Glanz, Radia saint Emilian. It is a violation to engage in battle without permission. You had no way of properly assessing the risk. Emil Crossfoad, you recklessly endangered your squadron and could have very well gotten them injured or even worse. Reflect on your actions tonight. Sorry. That being said, each of you exhibited admirable presence of mind on the battlefield. I'm going to consider your admission into selections. What did I tell you? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. About today. I'm sorry. I know I totally messed up our date. It wasn't your fault. Don't worry about it. Those clothes we bought are all ruined now. <laughs> it's okay. Can you help me pick them out again? Uh, of course! Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you need to let go of me. No but way! All these lights are on, and anyone could see us out here. Don't worry so much. Someone has to. Tomorrow's the big day? Yeah. After.
after all these years, I can finally sing for my mother at our special place. You've been chasing after that dream for a while now. You made it. Sing for her with all your heart. No, that's not right at all. Watch me again, and up, up. Right. You better get this routine right. You're working for the most famous idol of our whole generation. The least you could do is not embarrass her. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry won't cut it again from the top. Sakura? Are you feeling better after last night? I know I wasn't born like this, but I'm a variant. I think I'm going to be just fine. Glad to hear it. Karen's really excited for your concert tomorrow, and so am I. Are you actually? Of course. So many people have told me they've been touched by my melodies. I've even heard my songs are like a mirror of the soul. They resonate deep within the heart of anyone who listens to them. But I don't think that's true. My songs do affect everyone deeply. However, that's only because I'm a variant. But I'm not really talented at all. What do you mean? It's hard to see because it lies dormant. But a large percentage of the human population are infected with the variant virus, which means as a variant, I tap into their emotions artificially. That's why people feel so strongly. That's the only reason they like my songs. I'm sorry for deceiving you all this time. Don't say that. No matter how badly I want them to, my songs can't really reach anyone. It's all a lie. I wish it could be true, though. Your songs are meaningful to people across the entire world. It isn't just some virus, it's who you are. We both saw what happened! When we were all fighting that monster together! That savage! It hurt me! Listen! <laughs> when we were children and you sang your song for me, it made me feel something. Thank you! I don't know a whole lot about music, but when you sing, I feel better. Your song touched my heart, and it eased Karen's mind as well. That was before you became a variant, wasn't it? <laughs> don't worry. Your voice is reaching everyone. I know it. Ayato, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me during my trip. My love for you feels stronger than ever. The concert tomorrow, it'll be great. Yeah, I can't wait. Yours. It's beast day! Stop! I'm 
gonna fall! Ah! Hi, Mattel! So, what do you think about my new swimsuit? Aren't we cute? Oh, yeah, totally. I should hope so. We spent plenty of time picking these. Thanks for doing this. I know you must be incredibly busy. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm glad you invited me. Taking a break will be nice. Hey, watch those wandering eyes. I'm right here. What do you mean? <laughs> hey! Leave him alone! He doesn't like you that much. Mm. Huh? Uh, Will you carry this for me? Uh, uh, Come on, Hayato, let's get some water! Wait! <laughs> I can't wear my cute clothes with all these girls around. It sounds like nearly everyone is having a nice time. These trips do wonders for our morale. I know it can't be very fun not being able to join in, but you should try to relax at least a bit today. It's whatever. At least I don't need my boobs filling out of my swimsuit just to get Hayato's attention. <laughs> what an outrageous claim! Out of line! You better watch your mouth! Make me... <laughs> Get back here! This is war! Hey, are you starting to feel hungry? I brought us a homemade picnic for lunch. <laughs> Disgusting. <gasps> Excuse me? You're a bloodsucker. You cling to Hayato like a leech, and when it was time to leave, you used your dark connections to join the school so we'd never be safe from you. Kinda. I decided to take on the role of its personal idol during my singing off season. Uh, okay, that's a bogus made up title and you know it. But why do I catch you staring at him all the time? Don't think I haven't noticed. Fess up. <gasps> no way. Did she find out I'm really a girl? You like boys, don't you? Huh? <laughs> at least that's what I've heard. Everyone sees you and Hayato fawning over each other. Oh, okay, I can explain. Hayato and I have been friends forever. We lived in Gutenberg together when we were little kids. Uh, you were there? Hmm? We've been friends so long, we're inseparable. Well, I guess that makes me... Nothing, it makes you nothing. Besides, didn't you only hang out with him for like less than a whole day? It doesn't matter, we made an instant connection. Well, I've been together with my brother since the day I was born. I guess you could say that makes me his best and closest child. Thanks for the food, Sakura. Did everyone enjoy the meal? Yeah, everything you made tasted great! I mean, I've definitely had worse. <clears throat> Emil! Hayato! Come on over to the court and show us what you can do! Sure thing! You asked for it! I'm cheering for you, Hayato! Look Ready? <laughs> Cheater infusing the bowl with energy is against doesn't seem like a big deal to me. All right, but remember, you asked for this beatdown, got it? Um, excuse me, Claire. We should apply a coat to the other side if you'd be so kind as to roll uh, over and- Gimme, I'll take things over from here. Here you go, Claire. Quit it! Your brutish hands have no finesse at all! Out of my way! If you don't rub it in, it won't work! Stop! The front of <laughs> skin is extremely delicate! Stop it! They're totally clueless! <laughs> That's enough, ladies! I'm fine! Regia number one attack now! Uh, I got it! Shooter? Isn't he? The CEO of Warsworn. Claire, it's been so long. That swimsuit looks great on you. Oh, spare me the whole routine. State the nature of your business here. After an entrance like that, it better be important. To see you, of course, and all your precocious cadets. These are the future soldiers of Warsworn, and I hope to greet them in person. I trust they're model representatives of your school. You there, is your name Hayato? Uh, yes sir. You exceeded my sister's response values before even joining the squadron. You're something of a rising star around Little Garden. And you even have the divine blood. 
Oh, thinking out loud. Don't pay it any mind. And over there, you must be Emil... Pardon. Your name is Emil Crossfield, right? Yes, sir. I'm told you all have bright futures here. Keep up the good work. Come, Claire. I was sco- Apparently he needs to talk to me about something. Should we come too? No, there's no need to worry. That was pretty weird, don't you think? Yeah, I... It's Claire. She wants us in the student council office right away. An anti-savage operation? Correct. This activity will be overseen by the UN's Joint Operations Task Force, the Peacekeeping Army. Little Garden is sending members from the selections as representatives for the cause. Um, was that the reason you asked for us to come here too? This assignment will serve as your initiation into selections. I would like the both of you to join the mission. Huh? <sighs> we actually did it! We're gonna be a part of selections! Kinda cuts into our free time, though. Mr. Kisaragi. Um, yes, sir? How fortunate to have run into you. I hoped you and I might have a chat. Oh, well, actually... We should start training immediately! Right on! Let's do it! Where'd he go? So... Hayato. Yes, sir? Do you know what provides power to Little Garden? Huh? Um, well, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's a nuclear fusion reactor, right? That's the official answer. Uh. <sighs> this ship contains a sprawling academic city-state. In order to power our research initiatives, Little Garden requires a tremendous amount of energy. It takes quite a bit more than a fusion reactor to achieve that sort of output. So, what could possibly provide the energy necessary to keep this dream of ours afloat? The answer lies right through this door. Just like Sleeping Beauty from the fairy tale, isn't she? The beating heart of Little Garden is this young girl. In truth, without her, we would be nothing. Lisa. You mean she's... Lisa? Correct. She is the first slayer and variant ever created by humankind. Lisa Harvey. Uh, Harvey? That's right. She and Claire are sisters, and I am their brother. You've said too much. Uh, President? Start talking. Why did you let an outsider know our secret? Take it easy. What would Lisa think if she woke up and saw you right now? Why, I'm afraid it would break her tender heart into pieces. She would probably say that you were acting very unladylike. You better answer my question right now! In the near future, this boy will become a premier slayer under Warslorn's employment. I wanted him to know Little Garden houses a secret that must be protected no matter what. Lisa's ability to generate energy could change the face of the world. No one else can be allowed to have something so powerful. <laughs> Again, and my next shot won't miss! I wasn't thinking. Anyway, there was another reason I brought the boy in here. You see, he has the divine blood. And that means he may be the key to truly awakening Lisa. Explain yourself now. Hayata, I'd like you to be the prince who awakens Sleeping Beauty from her slumber. Go on, wake her up with true love's kiss. What? Kiss her? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You two should lighten up. 
All you have to do is touch the capsule, which will release some of your energy into it. Now go ahead and try. A failure. You weren't enough to wake her after all. Let me make this simple for you. Someone is hunting Lisa, a ruthless woman who will stop at nothing to steal her. Her name is Vitaly Tinyanov. Vitaly? She and I have something of a past together. I plan to capture her no matter what. You've met the hunters. I've decided my best course of action is to track them down and have a little chat. What's the true purpose of this clean-up operation? I think we're done here. <laughs> don't walk away! I know this is a lot to take in. Why don't you two stay here and talk about all these powerful new feelings? Don't be ridiculous! If a talented slayer like Hayato were to join the Harvey family, well... That marriage would be my absolute pride and joy. If he consents, of course. Uh, Judah, that's inappropriate! <laughs> Relax, I was only joking, Claire, though you blushing is adorable. I'll be taking my leave now. I thought right now maybe wasn't the best time to pick your brain, so... I'll tell you more when the time is right. Of course, what you saw down there is strictly confidential. Don't violate my trust or else. Understood? Let's review mission protocols once more. This is a map of the mountain range near Tian Chuen City in the Empire of Qin. Based on our estimates, there are roughly 50 savages within this radius. We've established a base camp in Yanchuan City, which is also Shui Mei's hometown. She will act as your guide for the upcoming mission, so please refer any inquiries you have to her. Yes, I'll be here if you need me. Moving on. Those hunters are still on the loose. You should be prepared for the possibility that they'll track you down. One of the reasons you were chosen for this mission is your prior experience. Judah likes that you've fought these guys before. He thinks it'll be easier to fend off the hunters since you've already faced them and know what kinds of action to expect. So, then it wasn't Lisa who put this squad together, like it usually is. No. This entire cleanup operation was drafted and proposed to the UN by Judah Harvey himself. I know they warned us, but I guess this is starting to get really pumped up! Simmer down. No use getting fired up about it now. The fight isn't until tomorrow! I'm not a kid! Would you stop <laughs> patting my head?! <laughs> Everyone, we're moving out. business. What's the deal with you, weirdo? What? Me? Whoa, I'm just a classmate from school. Hayato Kisaragi. Claudia, when you ask someone's name, it's only proper to introduce yourself first. Claudia Luetti reporting in. I hail from Gutenberg, member of the Federation of Britannia. I am a certified Britannia Unified Army Slayer. And I'm Amelia's best and closest friend for life. What about you? Right, got it. Nice to meet- I miss you. Come back home to good as much. Your loyal subjects all eagerly await the return of Amelia, the hidden princess. Uh, shh! What does she mean by hidden princess? What's going on? 
It's, um, complicated. How so? The truth is, for the past ten years, I've been kind of keeping a super big secret from you. When we first met, I told you my name was Amelia Hermit, but it was a lie so you wouldn't learn who I really am. The truth is, my name's actually Amelia Gutenberg. I'm sort of the rightful princess of the Gutenberg royal family. You're a princess? I'm sorry. It's really not a big deal. Besides, I'm third in the line of succession. You're what? Oh, Amelia! Uh After you finish up your mission, what do you say we go back home to Gutenberg together? I'm sorry, I can't go. <coughs> I made a vow I'm never going back to Gutenberg, not as long as I live. <laughs> tomorrow, and it would be rude to make a mess in this dojo. Oh, my sister Shwemi told me all about it. This is our family's dojo, so feel free to spar to your heart's content. Hayato, you're the greatest win for me! <sighs> okay, I'll try. This is gonna be a one-round fight, so don't come crying to me when you lose the match. First hit wins, and no using hundreds or cents energy. I want this to be a fair fight. All right. You think you can win with that pathetic little twig? Fine, but no complaining after I wipe the floor with you. Back in Yamato, I always use this for my kento training. It'll be fine. Then let's get this fight over with! Ready? And go! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you passed my first test, even though it was nothing but dumb luck. A seasoned combat veteran like oh, that was awesome! <laughs> No such thing! No more talk! Come on! I'll free her from your erotic temptation! You've got the wrong idea! Letting Amelia stay with you was the last mistake I'll ever make! I'm going to pound you into dust! You're nothing but trash, so just give up and die already!
hours one final time. Starting at 1300 hours, each squad will board helicopters and travel to their designated mountain drop points. Their time will be spent eliminating any savages encountered in their area until returning to base at 1700 hours tomorrow. Yeah, sure, makes perfect sense. But who decided on these team assignments? It's an absolute honor and privilege to serve alongside the brave Amelia. Uh, this is a dream come true. We may even be connected by the thread of destiny. No, it's a nightmare. And for the last time, my name is Emil. That's for you, Hayato. I played along with your silly little game yesterday. But this fight's real. You're about to witness my superior tactical genius and the force of nature that I am in battle. What do you mean, played along? You're the one who wanted to fight me. Claudia Loewe, stand down. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm well aware of your intention to bring Emil Crossfoe to your homeland as quickly as possible. However, he is a valuable asset to this squad and a proud soldier of Little Garden, one of our best and brightest. For real? If he makes the decision to remain with us at Little Garden, we're prepared to take whatever actions necessary to keep him there. <sighs> you got a point. My intentions with you. We'll be fighting on the same side, so I don't want any secrets between us. You understand? Fine! Yeah, I swear I'm not gonna cause any trouble. I'm not totally irresponsible, okay? The cavalry has arrived. President, we're checking in before we begin our strike. Thank you, Liddy. You represent Group F, correct? Affirmative. We're Group F. Us and two other squad mates, Allie and Wendy. In a way, as long as this all goes well, mm -hmm. I'm kind of living out my own personal harem fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> harem? I was just joking around. Well, you're not funny. Thanks, understood. The helicopters are prepared for takeoff. Everyone is cleared to report to their stations. <clears throat> Liu Shuemei, you may not be going with us, but no matter the role you play, you are a little garden slayer. We're all counting on you to back us up. <sighs> Ma'am! Here we go. The spot. We've got one! Yeah, I'll squash this bug! Ha! Focus up! Watch how this is done, Hayato! Hundred on! Go! I wonder what her hundred can do. Well, it sounds like she wants to show off, so why don't we just let her have fun? it off just to prove that? Well, yeah, duh. As I predicted, we're totally in- There's such a riot. Talk about birds of a feather. Seems to be clear. My scans only detected those two. What's our next move? Consider them practice. Now we can focus on scouring the side of the mountain for savages and defeating as many as we can until we head out tomorrow. Right. right. <laughs> the Slayers are out to play. I've never seen so many in one place before. Must be a pretty big occasion. I know people who would kill for such a priceless treasure. I can finish this one now! Rocket Knuckles, go! <laughs> Impressive skills, Razia. Right back at ya, Allie. That's two savages down so far. Not bad, but they're using up way more energy than necessary. They need to learn to ration better. Good point. I'm starting to feel like this is going to be a long night. Everything is proceeding according to plan, Claire. Good. Exemplary work so far. We've defeated five savages. That's true. However, I couldn't help but notice that Hayato hasn't killed a single one. <coughs> you tried this, Amelia. 
Amelia. <coughs> Yum! It isn't really his fault. You're the one who keeps trying to be the center of attention, Drake. I'm fine with it, really. I don't mind assisting damage or running distraction, as long as I can help. Wow, you're always so chivalrous. <sighs> hey, what are you trying to pull here? Excuse me. There are predictions for light showers in our vicinity this evening. Is that so? A bit of rain shouldn't be enough to impede our progress. However, we'll need to take extra precautions with any beam weaponry. We're going to split into groups and switch off sleeping in two shifts. Each group gets four hours while the other group is securing our perimeter. Is that clear? I totally <coughs> called dibs on Haito's group! Come on, cool it, would you? The rest of you can go to bed. <coughs> and you crossbowed! It's dangerous for you two to be left alone together! Get away from him this instant! Huh? Yeah, she's right! <coughs> Hayato is the only guy here. He shouldn't be left alone with any of us! The simplest solution would be putting me with Amelia. I'm a guy too, remember? If we fight together, we can defeat any monster. We're a perfect pair. Why won't you listen to me? That's ridiculous. I listen to every word you say. <laughs> uh, Hayato isn't the only guy here. Shouldn't we be in a group without you girls? You can't honestly think that excuse is going to fly here. No one's falling for it. How did I get stuck with the vice president instead of Hayato? It's so not fair. Well, there's no use in pouting about it. It's too wet from the storm. Fine. I can't sleep. Hayato Kisaragi. Oh, yes, ma'am. Getting proper rest is also part of the mission. If you don't take your responsibilities seriously, you're no slayer. Right, sorry. Our shift has been uneventful so far. A small rain shower passed through, but it didn't last long. Based on numbers from HQ, our ranks have eliminated 42 savages. There seem to be more savages in this area than we initially anticipated. We need to remain on high alert and stay focused. In the interim, we'll get some rest. <coughs> Meal crossbowed? That means you. Uh, hey, hold on! I will come back for you, I promise! Yeah, okay. Uh, have a wonderful night, Amelia! Sweet dreams! We've been over this! It's a new... Whoa. The stars are lovely tonight. Yeah. Karen. Um, my sister. She loves stars. You two seem close. You must care about her a lot. We've been together our entire lives. She's been so sick, though. I wish she could see- Me too. I hope I'm not boring you. No, quite the opposite. One day, I hope to make a world where everyone's able to relax and look up at the beautiful starry sky. To feel for a moment true peace of mind. That's the kind of world I'm fighting for. Hello! Sorry, I hope I'm not interrupting any passionate conversations. Claudia, how long have you been lurking and spying on us? I'm not spying, but this does look pretty romantic to me. If I didn't know better, I'd think the two of you were in love. What? That couldn't be further from the truth! <sighs> If you say so. Anyway, I came to find you because I saw a huge scary shadow over by the lake. It was moving in that direction. Think it was a savage? It's possible that it could be a savage. So I was thinking you guys should probably be the ones to check it out. We could investigate. Good idea. You two go ahead. I'll stay here and man the fort. If anything goes wrong, I can wake up the girls to help out. Ugh. I suppose that's all right. And hey, if it's a false alarm, you can always just stay at the lake and have yourselves a hot date. Doesn't that sound nice? Two lovers alone by the water, gazing up at the stars and bearing their souls. It's right out of a movie! I don't have the faintest idea what you mean. Enough nonsense. Let's nothing but a routine patrol. Oh, um, right. Uh -huh. Be safe! Take your time! My brilliant plan went better than expected. That spoiled girl is head over heels for stupid Hayato. I just know it. If I can convince them to spend more time together, their budding love will blossom and I can finally convince Amelia to come home to Gutenberg once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia was right. Yes. 
This is Claire. Come in, Claudia. Come in. Do you read me? There's interference. If we turn back, we risk losing the target. We've got to take it out. I can handle this one on my own! Strange, you just tripped out of nowhere. Um, it was a calculated risk, that's all. I still could have handled that beast myself. Anyway, I'm grateful to you for helping back there. Your suit's a mess. It's covered in mud. Yes. I'd look ridiculous going back to camp like this. I'm going to clean up first. So, how's the water? I bet it's really cold, huh? No, a vein of magma is heating up this lake. Oh, sounds relaxing. Very. So Hayato <sighs> and Claire snuck off for a secret night of passion at the lake. And what if I think this story is made up? I'm telling the truth, I swear! That cheating scumbag doesn't deserve you. I think the best way to get back at him for breaking your heart would be to come home. Never. Come on, what's it gonna take? So what? They had a date. I know deep in my heart that Hayato and I are supposed to be together forever. Some stupid fling with a random girl won't stop me from pursuing true love, and you're gonna have to deal with it. But, but why? How's your training? Do you have more control over your variant power now? I've been working really hard to get better at wielding it, but I... I haven't used it since the Zwei Island, so I can't exactly say. Kinda makes me wonder if I'll ever get it right. When you are able to activate your variant power, how does it feel? It's difficult to explain. It sort of feels like... like all my senses are expanding outward. Time itself starts to seem slow and heavy. I see. She must have experienced that as well. Who must have? My sister, Lisa. She's like you. <sighs> Hers is a different story. They called her a designer baby. Scientists said the offspring, my sister, became a variant. What? So is Vitali behind that too? No. That woman was only an assistant. The actual mastermind behind it was someone far more cunning. Her name was Linus Harvey, our darling mother. No, that's horrible. How could she do that to her own child? Has my mother explained it? This was her plan to defeat the gods at war. Defeat the gods at war? That's what she said. And she got her wish, too. Lisa showed enormous potential as a slayer. Her talents were very rare, abnormal even. Unfortunately, one day she unleashed power that tapped into forbidden strength. She used it to save me from a savage. <laughs> Ever since that day, Lisa has been just as you saw her. She may look as if she's sleeping, but in reality, her body has found a way to release enough energy to power the entirety of Little Garden. She's our pride, our joy, and our greatest secret. Lisa's invaluable. She's Warslarn's... No, she's Juder's secret weapon. To covertly keep an eye on Juder's movements and actions. Lisa isn't some tool to be used for their ambitions. She's my sister, and I won't let anyone take advantage of her. Can you believe how selfish I am? I act like I'm fighting for something noble. But my family? My mother, brother, sister... 
They're the only reason I do this. President. If my sister didn't need me here to protect her, I may not have become a slayer in the first place. I have a question. As your superior officer, does learning this make you think less of me? Not at all. Honestly, I think I can relate. If my little sister didn't need her treatment, I probably wouldn't have become a slayer either. I think that most people are fighting for selfish reasons. World peace and justice are perfectly fine. But personal motivations are only natural, you know? You can lead your life however you want. Thank you so much. When I became a slayer, I discovered something. I found my purpose. I can protect people's happiness if I use my power. And if I can defend everyone's right to be happy, then I'm proud to use my strength and put my life on the line for them. In my ideal world, everyone is safe at. If that's what you really want, well, I'm fairly certain your hundred will give it to you. Can you promise me this? Will you commit your strength to our cause? Will you fight for Little Garden as hard as you fight for your ideal world? Yes, ma'am. I promise to fight by your side. Huh? What the? That's an emergency call. your emergency call. Can you fill us in on what's happening? I'm Zayed Huffman. Part three. Zayed, what's the problem? We were ambushed by a hunter. For real. Squad D has suffered major casualties. Attacking other squads. Alert murder everyone and take cover. They'll come for you too. Uh -oh. Hey, are you alright? Come in. If it's a group of three, they have to be those renegade hunters from those way islands that Judah was so concerned about. Which means they're probably the ones jamming our lines of communication. Get back! That's Fritz's signal! An emergency flare. They're trying to warn us. Kisaragi, listen. Get back to the tent and brief our squad about the situation at once. I'll go ahead and assist the other squad. Hold on. You're going alone? Yes, there's no need to worry about me. I'm Little Garden's esteemed student council president. My fellow students look to me for guidance and clarity. I have a responsibility to help them. Uh, understood. <sighs> Your luck's run out. Reinforcements will be here in no time. I'm so tired of hearing you- ah! You're the last one standing. I will not falter. I'll keep fighting you with my full strength until reinforcements arrive. Yeah, I believe you. Your best's not good enough! Limit out! A variant mode? Like I thought, weak as the others. Shut your mouth, scum! Take this! <laughs> You're finished. I think I'll take your hundred as a trophy. <laughs> Who's there? All those who dare injure my comrades will be severely punished. The perfect queen. See, my reputation precedes me. Pleasure's all yours. I knew you'd make it. Sorry it took so long to get here. Good work. I know you never stop fighting for them. It wasn't enough. Forgive me, Claire. Please. I want an answer from you mongrels now. Tell me everything you know about Vitaly Tinyanov or else. Where the hell did you hear that name? If you surrender at once and give me all the information I ask for, I can guarantee your safe surrender. If you don't comply, I will employ other methods. Oh, shut up! I hate loudmouths like you more than anything! <laughs> There's no use resisting. Even if you try to use your variant power, you pitiful excuses for henchmen can never hope to defeat my full-body armament. You're about to be completely outnumbered by reinforcements. Give up the hundreds you've stolen and surrender at once. <laughs> A storm. Nasset, Nakri, check it out. Seems like luck may be on our side after all.
भुलाई गई पैसा के भूख में मरता नहीं गोरी तोहरा प्यार वाला दुख में तू तो भुलाई गई पैसा के भूख में मरता नहीं गोरी तोहरा प्यार वाला दुख में जियते जी फांसी चढ़ैलू सबास पर के हुए प्यार को जियते जिला सुलाद बोलू हो सभी सबास कर के हुए प्यार को जियते जिला सुलाद बोलू
Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Trace. You'd be replicating if you could. Guess your power has a cooldown time. Then again, if I stab that eye out right now, you won't be replicating much of anything. You'd really gouge my eye. You'd do that? Why do you have eyes to begin with? To cause others pain? Or maybe to see the wonders of our beautiful world? Is anything but beautiful! It's repulsive! All I've ever seen is suffering and despair! The strong take advantage of anyone weaker than them! How? They kill! For power! And they don't care who's in their way! We'll change this world! If it means getting our freedom, we'll do whatever it takes! You'll never understand, so move aside! And you won't stop us! Hurry up, swine! We don't have all day! What the hell's going on here? What are you- She has entirely lost the use of that eye. Seriously? However, I can offer her newfound sight instead. Perhaps even more. Like what? The power to attain the freedom you crave so dearly. Are these images... this guy's memories? What's your reason for fighting? Tell me! Do you have one? Yeah, I do! And thanks to my hundred, I can defend it! I'm able to protect my friend's happiness! What better reason is there for fighting?! Anything to keep them smiling. In order to uphold my promise, I have to defeat you! <laughs> Full body armament. I want to see a better world. A world where people are happy and no one gets hurt. That's why I fight! Your dream is nothing but a fantasy! It isn't impossible! Not if I want it badly enough! A world without suffering! A world without pain! I won't settle for anything less! Oh no! Damn it! I'm okay. You're not even close to finished! I'll keep fighting to the bitter end! His variant power's too much. It'll kill him. Stand down or else! You need to stop using your variant power before it's too late! Your body is going to give out! It doesn't matter. Savage for you. What's he saying? In exchange, 
we'll be taking its core for ourselves. That's enough! Stop before your variant destroys you! Shut up! We need to get that core at any cost. I'm taking it with me! Come on! It summoned a barrier? Let me in, monster! I'm gonna spend my two will be free! It'll finally just be the three of us! Stop! You cannot break through! I have to! It's right in front of me! Why am I never strong enough to get what I want? It isn't fair! Nothing is fair! Just die! Fighting for a world where no one has to get hurt. Oh yeah? That's so? Alright, then help my sisters. Help Nasat and Nakri too. squads must be backing us up. President! We can pierce it together. Let's fire our beams at the same time! It's worth a shot. Claire, please listen for a moment. Three weapons are better than two, and four are better still. I advise we get every Slayer on this mountain with ranged capabilities to fire toward the target at the same time. How are we supposed to communicate with them, though? We're jammed! Uh, oh yeah, that's right. What do we do? You hunters are the ones disrupting our signal, right? Tell me where your jamming device is hidden. If we want to take out that savage, it's imperative that we communicate with our other squads. Time's up! Please help! Communications are back online. Appreciated. Erica, put out a call to Little Garden. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Claire, what's up? Sounds like your camping trip turned out pretty exciting. Urgent is more like it. Get me some damage calculations. Immediate readings have finished processing. Here's what I got. If every long-range slayer on the mountain fires their weapon together at the exact same time, it should be enough to shatter the barrier. <laughs> Attention all slayers in the area! I need to borrow your strength! Yeah, I'm in. Guess we're actually fighting this monster. I'll help out too. President, Mission Control has given us the green light to move forward. Got it. All units, do you copy? The Queen of Little Garden is taking command of this battlefield from here on out! Roger! Kisaragi, listen up! Get in position to finish it off! Yes, ma'am! Take aim! Prepare to fire! Roger! Roger. <laughs> Target is amassing a lot of energy! Watch out! Wrong. Not enough firepower. Lisa's estimates should be completely accurate. Some slayers must have been wounded by its last minute assault. <laughs> Are you telling me there's no. Well, then spit it out! Believe me, I wouldn't be recommending this if we had any options left. But Lisa says it's our last resort. She recommends that Hayato share his variant power with Claire, adding to her reservoir of power. Uh. Let's just hold on a second. What does she mean by share? 
Well, it means Hayato and Claire would engage in a transfer of energy by kissing each other on the lips. <gasps> There's no way I absolutely forbid it! Not in a million billion years! I agree! The president must remain a pure role model! Ugh, what's the big deal? I say go for it. If we go through with this, doesn't it mean that I'll be infected with the variant virus because of our contact together? You're correct. It's a big risk. While it would certainly amplify your strength in this moment, there's no telling what long-term effects your body may have to endure later on. What other option do we have, though? For right now, subduing that beast will take top priority. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't know, it's a lot to process, okay? Ultimately, it's your choice, Hayato. Clear? Well, I'm waiting, Hayato Kisaragi. Have you made your decision yet? Look, if you don't want to kiss me, just say so. No, I... It's kind of, well, it's complicated. The savage has begun to accumulate energy again! It's charging another blast, please hurry! Oh, this is the worst ever! Fine, do it already, get it over with! I'm... Uh, sorry about this. You don't need to apologize for anything. I'm starting to feel different. A new warmth is welling up throughout my body. It's Hayato. This must be his energy. I feel stronger. Like I'm overflowing with power. Everyone, we're not done yet. Let's give it one more shot! Roger! You got it, Queen! Awaiting your command! All slayers, lock on the target and charge up your energy! Charging complete! Three, two, one! Fire! Get down! You're finished! or anyone, I'm going to win! Injured Slayers are making a smooth recovery. That's excellent news. However, I don't think any of our recruits have the fortitude left to take part in the next phase of this operation. We'll have to trust our allied countries to pick up the slack. Um, while I have your attention, hmm? I'm concerned about that gang of hunters we're transporting. I was wondering, do you know what Judah plans to do with them? More importantly, why is he shipping them straight to Little Garden? It's our home, and I think those ruffians pose far too high a risk. I don't feel any better about it than you do. Uh. Judah, what is it now? What are you planning this time? The cycles of the moon. Always waxing before waning. His condition is completely stable now. He'll be fine. Thank goodness. As long as his variant virus remains in check, I'm sure he'll wake up in no time. 
I wish we hadn't pushed you so hard. Sorry. Please wake up, Hayato. Emil? Uh, uh, what the heck is going on in here? Um, I can explain! See, there was... He had a lash in his eye, but I got it out. His eyes are closed. Thanks for helping him. Sorry for staring, but it looked like you were kissing him when we walked in. Uh, you got the wrong idea, I swear! Why would I be kissing Hayato? <laughs> I guess you wouldn't. The two of you are just friends. Totally. Something here doesn't add up. <laughs> Hayato? He's waking up! Karen. Sakura. And Emil, too. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> Don't worry. You're safe. You were amazing. My trio of hunters won't return, huh? Oh well, no matter. to success. Vacation in Yamato was suitably relaxing? Yes. It was nice to kick back after all of the fighting recently. Karen was grateful she could tag along. Oh, and we brought back some snacks, but someone oh. already found them. <laughs> These steam bombs you bought me are out of this world! So good! <laughs> so wait, where did those hunters end up going? I detained them. They've mostly kept quiet since arriving here. We're keeping them below, in our special facility, where they can't cause any trouble. But they've been trained well. They're extremely resistant to interrogation. Speaking of which, Lars Larn's intelligence division discovered Vitaly Tinyanov's hidden lab during a sting the other day. <sighs> Were they able to find her? 
Unfortunately, by the time they arrived at the premises, she'd fled. She knew. Shoot. We tried analyzing any research data we could get our hands on, but anything she left behind was encrypted or erased. Most importantly, as long as Vitali remains on the loose, she threatens our entire way of life at Little Garden. That's why we've enlisted a joint task force of Slayers to... Um, and what's a festa? Haven't you heard of it before? We celebrate Gardens Festa in honor of the launch of Little Garden. It's a school festival for the student body. Although it is open to the general public, too. We'll be docked at the United States of Liberia Sangria Porch for the entirety of the festa. Cool, right? This year's festa will be amazing! Yours truly will be putting on an incredible live performance. Also, to make this concert unforgettable, I've prepared a secret weapon. Huh? And that is? <laughs> I can't tell you. We're currently finalizing the last minute provisions for our celebration. Quite an undertaking. We've requisitioned additional support, including a fleet of cleaning robots, to keep the campus tidy amid the influx of visitors. see. How's Allie been doing? I honestly don't know. I haven't seen her since our mission. Your guess is as good as mine. Really? Well, we're glad you're here regardless. Thanks! Sakura? Weird. It doesn't look like she's going to Karen's room. Sorry for taking so long. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, I've been excited all day! <sighs> what? Uh, hey! Hayato, why are you here? Sorry, I didn't mean to sneak up on you. But, um, what are you all doing with that stuff? Some kind of club? You're going to sing in Sakura's concert? That's right! My secret weapon, the amazing Karen! Shocked, aren't you? Can't be very active. Don't worry about that, I've taken precautions. It's time, Karen. Go ahead, Kay? Yeah! Take a look! A hundred! It's called Divine Card! When she's using it, Karen will be able to soar around just like me. We're going to be such a dynamic duo. Wow, really? <laughs> I never expected Karen could use a hundred. While she's been undergoing treatment for her variant exposure, she developed a strange affinity for that power. These weren't the results I expected either. But she certainly has a knack for it, in my humble opinion. Karen's been practicing hard for a while now. Her hundred, and her singing too. Yeah, I want to do good things for people with my voice the same way Sakura does. You're always such an inspiration. Your voice means the world to me. Karen. It won't be easy. I'm only a beginner. I still have a long way to go. It's fine. I'm so proud of you. You're gonna be great. out while we're rehearsing this place is strictly off limits we've got work to do wait until the concert like everyone else now the second annual gardens festa is officially underway <laughs> of 
with all the rotten luck. I'm stuck on security detail all day. It isn't fair! <laughs> Princess Amelia, give this a try. Oh, it's a nap. But everyone gets in my way! Damn you all! <laughs> oh, screw it. We prepared all kinds of food in celebration of the Garden's Festa today. So, eat up, okay? Next time I have a break, I'll bring over some tasty desserts, too. <sighs> Is this all some joke to them? Now they throw a party? We're enemies, that's stupid. They're not gonna fool me. All Slayers are my enemy. Always. They even pried out our hundreds to keep for themselves. Yeah, but they didn't take Nasats away from her. She needs it to see, so I guess they assume we'll behave ourselves. <sighs> Why do you have eyes to begin with? You two better get your acts together! Remember what Vitali said! Those ruthless slayers will stop at nothing to enslave our entire planet! Finally, some time to relax. Ooh, check it out! There's a ninja cafe this way! And a zombie restaurant! Wanna go? Slow down, we don't have time for everything. We have to get to Sakura's concert on time. I was just kidding. Uh, stop, not while we're out in the open. Just for a bit. Hayato! Emil! Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Ratia? Vice President? Why are you dressed like that? Cool, yeah? There's a very oh. reasonable explanation for this. My business here is strictly professional! Bella and Shui Mei needed some help with their maid cafe's lunch rush. That's right, it was an emergency! There would have been a complete disaster if we hadn't stepped in when we did, so don't get the wrong idea! Totally. <laughs> what have you done? Get rid of it or my vengeance will rain down upon you, traitor! What do you mean? I bet people will love it. You look great. Oh, and I'm sure you want Claire to see this too, right? Please! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> I got a great angle that time! Don't back your time, those pictures immediately! I don't think so! Don't what just happened? So, Hayato, you and Emil got time to spare for the cafe? What? Are you sure that's cool? Ladies! Two masters will be joining us for lunch, okay? Wait, hold on. Welcome back, we miss you! Right this way! Oh, awesome! This place has a great atmosphere! What are we doing here? Is this your idea of a good time? Did you drag me along just so you could stare at these girls playing dress-up? What? No, I just think this place is fancy! Huh, if I were dressed like a girl, maybe I could keep your attention. <laughs> Why not try it out? Let me be of service. I'll transform you. Huh? Yeah, we have a bunch of maid costumes. You look cute, Emil. Okay, very funny. Seeing some scrawny guy like me in a maid outfit would be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm being serious! Yay! I get that it's fun to mess around, but what if they find out she's not really a boy? Relax. Aren't you the least bit curious? Huh? Come on, talk about adorable. Uh -huh. I mean that long hair streaming down past your tiny skirt. Yes, our bounty's within reach! Claim it, please! All finished! <laughs> Introducing Emil, our new male maid! Whoa! He really looks like a cute girl! There's more! We've given him certain hey, endowments. On, they may be tells, but they sure feel right? real. Truly, why didn't you okay. come over here and feel for yourself, Kizaragi? No way, I'm good, thanks. Let go! Try him out for size, it'll be funny! Huh? Yeah, come on, a little friendly bubble wouldn't kill you. What? Squeeze his boobs! What's the actual harm? Hey, a may lives to serve, right? Uh, well... If it's him, then sure. Fine, I'll do it! Why are you all so crazy? You're sure you don't mind? Come on, focus! Just touch them and get it over with! 
It's not a big deal. They're only towels. Aww, why are you taking so long? Go! <laughs> ah! You're a star now. Yeah. Is that your costume? Are you sure you want to go on stage like that? Of course. Why is something wrong with it? Uh... Well, how should I put this? It doesn't leave much to the imagination. Huh? Ew, why are you such a pervert? Are you trying to freak me out before the concert? No, that's not what I mean. I just worry because I'm your brother. Man, as if I wasn't feeling nervous enough about it already. But, you know what would make me feel better? <laughs> yeah, I do. Hi, Karen. <coughs> oh. Uh. Hey, why are you back? The concert is set to begin any minute. You're in the second number, so we'll get you set up backstage. You'll have to wait in the wings. Yes? Hello. Pardon me. Judah, welcome. Who? Oh, is he the Warslern guy? Once I heard there was a live performance from our diva, I rushed right over. I'm overjoyed to meet you. Hosting you at Little Garden is a profound honor. Enjoy your stay. Break a leg tonight. I can't wait. Thanks. I appreciate the kind words. You must be Karen Kisaragi, also known as Hayato's younger sister. Oh, yes! You'll be singing too. How lucky to perform with Sakura. I'm excited to hear it. Thanks! I'm excited too! I'll let you prepare. shift really flew by. Thank you. Have a good one. Same. That's all. You've done enough. Nighty night. Feature a guest. Someone who 
changed the way I live. Beats me. She inspired my love of singing back when we were children. Everyone, please welcome her to the stage. Now, without further ado. What? Is that Karen? She's starting to regain consciousness. She's fine, but I think she may have lost her memory. We tried to get more info, but she can't remember why she was here. And she keeps repeating the same words over and over. Something about a savage without any core. How could a savage not have a core? Chris, tell Charlotte to report to Central Command immediately. I'm on it. Keep it up, Silver Blitz! You're doing awesome! Everyone, please, give him a round of applause! Great job! Now for our next maneuver! Silver Blitz really can do it all! We've spent hours perfecting these routines. Watch closely! Wait, you won't... I'm gonna go on my break! Concert, I really wanted to see her in person. Don't worry about it. You know they're gonna get it on video. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh oh. What? Um, what's that thing? A bee? Kinda. Not your average pest, though. You're right. It looks mechanical to me. Is anybody nearby controlling this thing remotely? Guess the owner's not around to fess up. 
Regardless, we shouldn't let it sit here unaccounted for. I'll try to capture it. Hmm. Hundred on! Go! Whatever you say, 
I'm starting to get the feeling that you never slow down. with all the commotion. Not sure. Sounds like B-shaped mechs are on the loose. Hope it's not anything serious. Sounds pretty scary. Who cares about that? None of it matters. Nothing matters. All I wanted was to eat a chocolate banana with my darling Amelia. Everything is that terrible Hayato's fault. <laughs> that jerk gets to have fun while I'm stuck here bored out of my mind keeping watch for those planes flying straight at us. Unidentified aircraft approaching at 200 meters. What do you mean? Why couldn't anyone spot them on our radar until just now? 100 meters, we won't be able to intercept! Incoming! A virus is rapidly corrupting our database. Parts of our radar are going completely blank. We can't lock onto any of our signals. I'll try to reboot the systems. Unidentified aircraft have reportedly crashed into the airport deck and rear deck, assessing magnitude of structural damage now. <laughs> Vitaly was instrumental in designing the blueprints for Little Garden. She must have taken advantage of a backdoor oversight that she'd implemented at the time. <laughs> They're savages! <laughs> Wait, look at them! They don't have cores! A savage without a core? We have visual! Weapons are useless against these things. I guess that means it's up to us. <laughs> They're like replicants, clever imitations. Vitaly made these constructs for battle. They're designed in the image of savages, our sworn enemy. She hoarded the variable stones and savage cores to reverse engineer these composite replicant soldiers. It's her declaration of war on us. Rather, her intent is to dismantle all of Warslar. Liddy! Erica! You've both been listening to this, haven't you? Liddy, I need you to intercept any replicants that you find on deck! Erica, squash those bugs as fast as you can! <sighs> yes, yes ma'am, ma understood! I don't care who she is. She's not hurting a single person on my ship. Reporting! Do you have any idea who's behind this attack? Yes, we believe Vitaly Tininov orchestrated the assault. <laughs> it's Vitaly. Unfortunately, she's already infiltrated Little Garden. I want you to bolster security details surrounding our prisoners. I will not allow those children to fall back into that woman's clutches. Right. We'll keep them safe, I promise. Vitaly's not only dangerous, she's completely unpredictable. Both of you, be on your guard. Unidentified aircraft! Incoming! Directly above us! Another one? Constructs Vitaly created to fight like their counterparts. Don't like the sound of that. It's enormous. Barrier structural integrity at 98%. 95%. They're going to break through! 88%. I'll deal with them personally. 79%. <sighs> I am the captain of Little Garden, and it's my duty to defend everyone on board. Chris, you take command till I return. No, Claire. Now we need your leadership more than we need you to risk your life for us. Chris, 
You're the commander of Little Garden Slayers and keeping everyone calm and focused. We need you exactly where you are. Someone has to... Let us go instead. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Lisa agrees. She thinks sending them may be our best bet. Exactly. President, I promised to commit my strength to you. I'd protect a little garden, and I would fight for it with all my strength. Can you promise me this? Will you commit your strength to our cause? Will you fight for a little garden as hard as you fight for your ideal world? When did that happen? I don't seem to recall. Oh, well, you know, you weren't there, so... <clears throat> Understood. I entrust this mission to you. However, there's one condition. I order both of you to come back alive. To protect them. To protect everyone at Little Garden. We're depending upon your strength. Are you prepared? Yes, ma'am. Mamie will be able to keep the hunter secure. She's a model guardian and her babysitting talents are top notch. What's with all that noise? Can't they keep it down? Bet it's Vitali. She finally came up with a plan to rescue us all! Hmm. Yes, but there's a festival going on. Why would Vitali attack now? She wouldn't. Vitali would never put innocent lives at risk like this. What she wants is to take revenge against the Slayers and then lay the foundation of her perfect world. Why would she strike during some big party? It's not her style at all. Yeah, but... Garden is locked down under siege at the moment. I'd like you to assist if you can. Sweet, she brought our hundreds back! Nasat still has hers, though. They never took it away. They told me I wouldn't be able to see if they took it away from me. You always were naive. Hey, Vitali. What's the deal with your attack? This is not what we discussed. I won't help you hurt ordinary citizens. That's not who I am. Besides, go on. The people we've met here, if you ask me, they aren't really so bad. Is that right? You don't leave. <coughs> 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 what the hell are you doing to us? Tully, stop! going to get away with this. We'll save Little Garden no matter what stands in our way. if I'm not mistaken. I'm more than just a robot, you know. My name is Mei Mei, and I'll protect these children! Let's go. Wait! Please, you can't leave! <laughs> Don't 
can't do this. It's not... It's not who you are. to me. We have a score to settle. Yes. I like to think it's poetic. Do something. Lisa is in danger. Don't worry, Claire. I'll make the scary lady go away. I'm serious. Resisting. You're nothing but pawns now. Damn you. They don't belong to you. These children can make their own choices and care for each other if that's what they want. How would you know? Huh? shortly. Save me the trouble of hunting you down. What's your game, Vitali? Don't play dumb. You pretended to love me, but you lied. This is revenge! You made the last mistake you'll ever make! No, you misunderstood. Shut your mouth! I'm going to destroy Lisa right in front of your eyes. Then I'll sink, little guard, your slayers are! They're powerless before me! Replicants and BMEX have begun emitting sound waves from their bodies that seem to be affecting the entire ship. Analyzing now. Is that so? Those waves must be designed to target Slayers specifically. The sound they produce resonates at a frequency that dampens the virus common to all Slayers. Your greatest warriors become harmless children. I'd say that's checkmate. Very impressive, Itali. But I'm not surprised. Your work was always beautiful. I admire your passion. It drew us together from the start. If I asked, would you return to me? I'd rather die! No, I want you to feel true despair. You'll never be worthy of my love or anyone's! Be reasonable. I can still save you. You can't, darling. Bye. Sakura Kirishima. Kirishima? If I did, so what? Lisa reacted to hearing her angelic voice. I'll be the first to admit it was a gamble, but I was hoping a show might wake her up. You played your part well, too. Like I'd believe that. You wouldn't endanger Little Garden and all the people here. 
Why else would I waste my time seeing you? I'm not going to let you use me again! Die! to call my sister names like that. Thank you for all that you've done, Vitaly. You helped my plans. Well, I'll be damned. That actually made me kind of glad. Sick, right? Sorry to stir you from your nap, Lisa. If you'd like, you can rest in the capsule until I return. You'll be able to talk in just a moment. I cannot, brother. <laughs> There's something I must do. Something important. Goodbye. Stronger than this. I wish I had the power to save everyone. You are strong enough. <laughs> what? You still have your song. Song? That's right. You have the power to drive away this terrible noise. You mean I can help? Really? Believe in your music. Sing for Little Garden. Sing for everyone who needs to hear. As long as I can sing, I'm not powerless. You can stand now. All right, Karen, are you with me? Let's keep singing. Right! Hundred on! Go! Canceling out the noise. All slayers on the battlefield are starting to return to normal. They've changed the tide of battle. Go on, keep singing. I hear you. Sakura and Karen. It's working. I can fight. Here's my chance. Come on! Zaragi is at 0% energy. He's not in danger. Vitals are stable. Good. I knew 
you could do it. Outstanding work. This is urgent. The replicant is reactivating. That thing's still moving. It can't be. Detecting a large concentration of energy. It's about to fire, Claire! <laughs> He's 
from Little Garden. My enemy. Slayers must... DIE! I know you feel. Still, we're not that different. One small change and we could have ended up on the same side. We've sure been through a lot since the beginning of the school year. Yeah, I'll say. I have a feeling this is just the beginning for the two of us. But right now, there's only one thing I want. Oh. My wish is coming true. To be by your side to you. You know what my real name is. Amelia, I... I want that too, to be with you. Our school is huge! I've never even been to this part before. Noah told me about it. There's a great view from the roof. I bet the fireworks will look amazing all the way up here. Everyone I know? Mind us, looks like you're having a moment. Well, hi, Emil. If you were into guys, you should have said so! What? 
What? No, I mean, it's, it's not. It's enough the... from you! <laughs> Prepare to die! <laughs> Actually, Amelia Gutenberg, and I'm a princess. Which kind of means that I'm a girl. So, uh, anyone have- <laughs> You're a girl?! And a princess? You've gotta be kidding me! <laughs> a noble and peasant falling in love! That's a storybook romance, no matter how you slice You're it. You're a traitor! Did I, <gasps> or did I not, make my rules perfectly clear? <gasps> <gasps> Don't hurt me! The president of Little Garden, my judgment is swift and final! 